anyways, getting ready to go to work. And I never pack my lunch at night. So, I can't open the gate and do this at the same time. Rookie. So, I'm always getting ready to go to work and I don't I don't want to buy lunch because I'm really cheap and I only have so much uh, play money every month so I am uh, always torn because I have only so much time in the morning and like today I just decided eh, I'm not gonna pack because I don't feel like getting everything out and packing my lunch um, but now I'm probably going to get McDonald's again because McDonald's is the cheapest. I get the dollar menu. And uh, so that is causing me to get fat and slow. <laughs> so I don't know. That's the story, story of my life. I need to just get up earlier, which I should be doing anyways. Or I should... Um, pack my lunch at night. So we just went to the, uh, my wife and I went to the doctor the other day and uh, just to make sure everything was legit and good with uh, the upcoming baby as uh, this is our first and we we're really excited about it and we're, we've been telling people ever since the doctor appointment which has been um, oh, really only a couple days and something I've, I've really noticed is the difference between uh, the excitement people have um, depending on whether they're a guy or a girl right because when you tell the when you tell guys they're excited and they're like oh that's that's really cool that's great and you tell girls and it's like this huge emotional wave of just just a huge wave of emotions I guess I don't know what it is they just get all excited giddy jumpy huggy and cry they just they just that's how they express it and it's I don't know it's funny it's it's just the difference one of the different one of the many differences between guys and girls is just the way that they react to things and um, all the guys are excited but uh, but not girl excited uh, that's a whole different level of baby excitement <laughs> there's my Arby's cup that's what I got for not packing my lunch went all the way out to Arby's because uh, the church van, um, the church van uh, air conditioner is broken, and we're leaving on a missions trip this Sunday. And because there's no AC, I mean, you put you put 12 of any people into a vehicle when it's 90 degrees out. Um, it's going to be a really bad, really nasty type drive. So we're driving from Michigan to Michigan to Tennessee, Tennessee, Georgia. So it's going to be a long ride. If you don't have any air conditioning and 90 degree heat, that's, that's pretty bad. So we went, went up to uh, Davison, got the car fixed or got the air conditioner fixed. And, and uh, while I was up there, I got some, a or I got some uh, Arby's. I don't get Arby's very often. Um, I like Arby's. Arby's is good. The roast beef sandwiches are really good. Um, it's kind of a special treat. The only thing about Arby's though is they're so expensive. I mean you can't go there all the time because of how much it costs. I, I got like the cheapest meal there possible plus an apple turnover which you should get if you ever go. All right, I, just, I just got home earlier than when I normally get home so I'm gonna see if I can surprise the dog. She's really sneaky. Sometimes she tries to um, get on the couch and she knows she's not supposed to be on the couch So I try to sneak and try to see if I can get her but I think I make too much noise unlocking the door yeah. How'd you know I was home? Hi doggy. Hi doggy. Hi doggy. Hello doggy. You know what really stinks? When you get home and you're kind of already tired as it is, you got lots of stuff that you need to do, and you just remembered. 
there's like a thousand dishes you still need to do. That stinks. We have a dishwasher, but it doesn't work. So, myself and my wife are the dishwashers, and you'd be surprised at how much just two people can make a mess with dishes and how, how quickly it accumulates. Gotta get her done. Right now I'm gonna try finishing up some of this desk. Um, it is kind of already late. It's already 9.30. And I feel like I'm never going to get this thing done. Um, have you ever lost interest in a project, but you don't finish, or but you finish because you know you just got to get it done and you really want it to already be done, but and this thing is just taking way longer than it would have, sh really what it should have been. Um, looking for some tape right now. I got to drill some holes so that we can have adjustable shelves. Um, and I saw this trick on the internet, not really recently, but to make sure that I drill the hole the same length every time, I'll use some tape to mark on the drill bit, and that way I don't drill through my plywood here. These are going to be the shelves, uh, or the, the sides of the shelves, rather. So I'm going to be here drilling here for a few minutes. Ended up being pretty good. I just went through one spot. That's a lot of holes. So, one mess up, and then uh, I sanded this down today so these edges are nice, nice and level with it. So, that's all sanded and good to go. So, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm tired. Call it a night.